So now that you have the basics of whiteboarding down, what we're gonna to wanna to do is actually sign into the whiteboard program. This is gonna be important so that we can access our content. So what we wanna do is figure out where the sign-on window is. Now, uh, when you first open whiteboard, you might see the sign-in window pop up here for a second, but if you happen to touch somewhere, uh, that sign-in window is gonna disappear, which actually brings up a kind of a quick pro tip. Remember, the board is sensitive to any kind of touch, right? So even your sleeve, uh, pieces of paper, don't decorate the boards, that's another pro tip, uh, those kinds of things. But the point is, is that if you touch somewhere, that sign-in window will disappear. So the way that you open it is in the bottom right corner, find that circle icon, and you're gonna touch it, and then that will open up the sign-in window. Now, you'll notice that there's a spot for email password. It's a little bit misleading. You don't actually type in your email password. We're gonna use our Google account to sign in. So you'll see that there's a G there. Now, if you're signing in with another account like Office 365 or Apple ID, you can use those icons as well. But we're gonna go ahead and choose the G here. What this is gonna do is it's going to open up a new window, which is going to allow me to choose my email. So I should already be signed in with my school email because I signed into the Chrome box with my school email. Uh, but just in case, you can always select use another email if the email is not correct. Choose your email from the list, and then you're going to get this window here that basically says like, hey, congratulations, you've signed in. But we're not in Whiteboard anymore. We're now on myviewboard.com, and we need to get back. We need to get out of Chrome back to Whiteboard. So locate Whiteboard in your shelf, and you're going to touch it, and then that will take you back to Whiteboard. The way that we know we're signed in is in the top left corner, you should see your board name. Remember in the last videos, we talked about changing your board name. If you didn't change your board name, this is probably just your email. Either way, if you see your name or your email in the top left corner, you are signed in. What we wanna to do too is show you how to sign out. It's pretty easy. Just close the program if you wanna sign out, or you can touch the circle icon in the bottom right corner you'll see that there's a person with arrows kind of going away from each other. This is the sign out button. You'll get this notification here, which then lets you choose sign out. And again, you can tell you're not signed in because you don't see your name or your email in the top left corner. So please go ahead, let's get signed in. Make sure you can see your name or email in the top left corner, and then let's move on to the next section.